Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Today we're going to bring the Hamilton Beach. Um, it's a coffee maker pretty much, but it's two in one. It does grind and it does the K cups. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to see what you get. Now, this was on sale. I bought it for $99 plus. It could go plus. Um, not bad. So I'm look I was looking for a new coffee maker because I had uh, Mr. Coffee for quite a while. But today we're going to bring in this. In. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what you get when you purchase them with this. All right, let's take a, go ahead and take a look at all the stuff that comes included, right? So they give the instructions, all right, and how to clean it step by step. So it's a separate piece of sh a sheet of paper that teaches you exactly how to clean the K-cup portion of it because it does get clogged up. Um, uh, you know, pretty much the, the coffee sets up in the actual needles. That's where you're going to have to clean up and follow the instructions. Very simple. This is kind of a common thing if you own one of those K-Cup uh, brewers. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, this cup itself, the cup holder where the actual ex takes extra um, moisture or any kind of thing that it runs off, it's going to go in the bottom of here. And it comes with the cover too. And I like this little part of it where everything drains in here. And you can just take this to a sink and empty it out. Now, on this part was very important because they have the actual cup, um, the, the brewer here. The, the system that actually you don't need a K cup you could just put your own coffee in here and there's already filters in here and this is replaceable and of course when you're gonna wash this this is very important for everybody buy that buys one of these that you got to remove this rubber band and also clean it because this gets a lot of fungus in here if you don't clean it this is very important to brush it off you could even replace these rubber bands and areas um, so these are pretty neat but you got to clean them and a lot of people don't remember or don't know that this is very important you got to remove the rubber band wash it in here because the fungus will grow in here just to make sure you don't want to get sick and all you got to do once you close it up you just brew it in here and this is regular coffee that you're going to set up you not instant coffee the one that you grind all right so you pretty much set it up you close it and you choose that one single cup and if you want if you don't want to brew your coffee and you want to continue keeping this clean like I said, you option, K-Cups, the adapter for K-Cups. Put a K-Cup in there, close it up, Sim simple as that. Now, before you actually start using it, you gotta make sure the water goes, and the water goes in here. So if you fill in your cup, you put the water on here, and then it'll filter with the K-Cup, it'll actually brew the K-Cup. Prior to using it, make sure that you run this a couple of times with water by itself, nothing else so it could clean itself, because like I said, off the factory, there's dust, there's, there's things in here that you want to make sure it, it, it removes that before. On the side of the coffee, this is where you actually add your water in here to match up you. Because sometimes it does not match this because it might be water from the last previous use. So make sure you follow this and then you follow where the actual max that you want to add the water in here. All right. For, so, so it starts from four and it goes all the way to 12. All right. Now, another thing is that the cable. It's probably like a two foot cable, really short. Here's the other side where you actually could check out for your K cup, um, for the single cup. And here also they have from six ounces all the way to 14 ounces, all right? Put one water, one cup of water to see how fast it brews. And like I said, um, very simple, just put in your water. Water goes in there, put your single cup. We're gonna see how fast it brews without any coffee, all right? With a single cup. And we're going to go ahead and um, brew strength. We could put the brew strength here, bold, regular. We're going to just put a regular and then um, single and then brew now. And there it goes. It starts brewing. It took almost two minutes to start brewing. Exactly almost two minutes to brew. So right now we're not brewing any coffee or anything. It's just water by itself. It's hot water. And we're going to see how hot it is. If you can notice my cup, I have a special cup that changes colors here to see how hot it is. And it shows you exactly how hot it's gonna get if you see the water distance. So it's all it's going up right now. It changes color just for this demo. Hot water. Alright, so that's pretty much it does it. So if you guys notice, it's super hot right now because it changed the actual color of the cup. And we're gonna see how hot it got right now. Right now we're at a temperature is almost to 150. Which is going a little hot, so which is hot, you know, that's that's really hot. I'm gonna fill up the water, and right now I have it almost to 10, so we could just clean it out, run it a couple of times. So I'm gonna run the water, and I like that it has a little little lip in here, so you don't have to spill it. You just throw it in there, 
try to remove all the particles. We're not putting any filters or anything like that. We're just going to try to clean it up as much as we can. All right, so we, we there we have it. And I'm going to show you that I put 10 ounces, around 10 ounces in here, if you can see it. It's a, it's a little bit above it. Like I said, it's not always accurate. So right now it shows you exactly where the water is at. And we're going to go ahead and set a program in here to actually see how fast it actually brews without any coffee in there. And we're going to see you put it to a test. So we're going to set now instead of single, we're going to set, we're going to set to the larger one. All right. So it's set up and we're going to brew and see how long it takes. So we're just turned to a minute and we're going to say brew. So it's going to start brewing. It's going to about take two minutes to actually heat up and start throwing the water in there. As you can see that we have it going right now. It brew less than two minutes on this part of it. It actually heat out faster. We're gonna actually do a um, hot chocolate next right now in a bit. But look how fast it's actually. So it's gonna be 10 ounces. Well, this is, we're not using any filters or anything like that. We're just running water right now to see how fast it loads up. So All right, so right now it's taking quite a while. It's taking more than like, more than 10 minutes to actually fill up from 10, all the way to 10 ounces reality. It's taking quite a while and it still hasn't stopped. So. Um, if you're going to do a big large pot, just be patient. It takes less than two minutes to heat up, but to actual brew the whole water. And this is without filtering. It's taking more than 10 minutes to fill up the, the actual uh, mug itself. So just a heads up on that part. All right, so the light indicates that it's got done already. Once it's, it's finished brewing, it'll go away. You'll hear a little kicking sound. You're ready to get the water in. It's pretty hot out there, if you guys can see it. Um, it did fill up like I said it took longer it took like 10 minutes to actually fill up to the level 10 so if you're gonna do a pot this big I recommend you uh, be patient it takes like less than two minutes to heat up the actual system but to actually start brewing it's gonna take quite a while so I want to use our same mug that changes color so you can actually see how hot it gets let's go ahead and put that to the test you fill in your water to the level that you want and we don't want to overflow it too so we're gonna go ahead and put the water in there a little K cup, if you guys can see it. We're gonna open it, close the back end, open the from the bottom. We're gonna just set it up in there, and we're gonna just close it up, click it in, and then we're gonna do single, and we're gonna say brew, and we're gonna start brewing. It's gonna take almost two minutes to heat up, but if if it's hot from the last use, we're gonna probably start seeing more of it faster. So. Let's go ahead and continue. So here we go, guys. It's gonna start brewing now. If you guys can see it, let me put it a little closer. Um, so it started after like two minutes um, of heating up, and if you guys can see, it, it's brewing the actual coffee, um, the actual hot chocolate right now as we have it. And if you're gonna start seeing the color change on the cup, it's gonna show you the how uh, hot it's gonna get. All right. So if it turns yellow, it, it gets a little hot. And if you can see the bottom of it, how it starts up, and that's how fast it's heating up. So it's heating up the cup, and then we're doing hot chocolate right now as a demo. So now that we've done our cup of, of um, hot chocolate, all you gotta do is push the button here, lift up, and it's a little messy, so just make sure that you remove it properly, and it's, it might be a little hot too, so you can remove the whole thing itself here, and, and make sure, you see that down there in the bottom? Make sure you guys clean it, because there is a needle in the bottom that pops up, and that actually is the needle that, that sinks up in, in, into the actual system. So make sure you clean it up after use. You can run a water, real simple, and it automatically clean itself. But like I said, um, you don't want to grab it with your hands. You could just remove the whole lid itself. Hope you guys enjoy it. And let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. So overall, I'm pleased with the machine. I'm happy that this system is ready to go off the box. Not that much programming you have to do. If you want to set the timer, you can. You can just leave it alone. You don't have to set up the timer. But if you want to program it for in the morning to set a program, you can actually just program from here and set the actual timer to go in there. And in the morning, you can wake up in the morning, get your own coffee, and ready to go. But like that, it's a single or you could actually have a family size. Um, for two in one, it's perfect. You could do, I like that they give you the cake cup adapter and they actually gave you the other adapter. So you could actually, the brew basket, you go add your own coffee instead of buying the actual cake cups um, that they sell at the stores. Um, very simple, save yourself some money too, the long run. Um, very easy to use. So if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know 